All right, YouTube, we are finally back. I know it's been about 13 days or something like that, which felt like an eternity, but there's been a lot going on. I finally moved into my own crib. Out in Chicago, we're gonna have a room tour, maybe like a house tour coming super soon, but I finally got most of my setup ready and I got the internet ready. So I figured why not give you guys a new video? And that's exactly what we're doing today. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I would go about making a song like Destroy Lonely. Specifically, I'm gonna be going for something like No Stylist because that's pretty much my favorite song off the album. And when his new album dropped, honestly, I'd never heard of this guy before, but his music is just fire. And I feel like it really fits the tone of what we usually do on this channel, which for example, is like Yeet videos and stuff like that. Kind of reminds me of that newer age of rage music that started coming out right when people started actually making rage beats. But that's exactly what we're gonna do in this video. So I'm gonna bust open FL Studio. We're gonna pull up some kind of serum probably going to be using cyber like we always do and we're just going to see what we make and by the way i'm working on a new huge multi-kit that's supposed to be like cyber but just definitely a lot better it's going to have vocal presets in it it's going to be a serum bank it's going to have a one-shot kit and it's going to have the best drum kit that you guys have ever seen but enough talking let's actually jump in fs studio all right, so as you guys can see here, I did a few things just to get FL Studio ready. So we set the BPM and I already have a scale in mind that I want to use. And I'm also using the new FL Studio, what is it? I think FL Studio 21, like the beta of it, which is just sick. There's a bunch of things I'm going to show you guys in here. If you haven't noticed already, the browser got updated a lot. There's actually the search feature in here now, which is just crazy. But first thing I'm going to do is just open up Serum and then we'll get started. So I actually don't have a lot of my banks installed on this computer yet because it is a new computer. So we're just going to start with uh, Cyber. Um, so I'm going to look for some synth that sounds like super big and like almost like warm feeling. Okay, so this one right here is perfect, but I think this reverb is a little too much. Yeah, there we go. I also kind of want this. I think this filter is doing a little something here. So let's turn this mix down on the filter. All right, this should sound good. I'm actually going to bring that filter up a tad bit just to cool it out. All right, so we're in the piano roll. And as you can see, I already have the scale highlighting set, which is in G major. And if you don't know how to do that, you're going to click this little drop down arrow with a view scale highlighting and you could just right click to change around and like test out some of the scales but we're doing g uh major right here and then basically i don't i never work in major scales so my music theory in a major scale is not as good as it should be so i'm kind of just going to be clicking in notes and trying out sounds until we get something that sounds like a real chord progression which is just the great part about scale highlighting let's do that All right, so after a little bit of time, we are left with this chord progression right here. And first thing we're going to do is just take out all that bass that we're hearing. So we're going to route it to mixture track one, and we're going to bring up a fruity parametric EQ. And I'm going to click this button right here, I believe, two times. And we're just going to pull some of that bass out. And then we're going to add a chorus and just try and like make this a big beefier sound. But we just didn't want that bass in there. All right, so now we're just gonna clone this serum and we're just gonna look for a lead that we could throw on top of that. Something super simple, something that sounds kind of happy and just brings like the vibe up a little bit more. So I'm gonna be looking through these leads right here and just click through some of them. This should actually work perfectly. I'm gonna bring this to this one and let's see what we can make. So I really like that lead that we just came up with and we're going to duplicate serum probably one more time and we're going to bring this to mix track three and we're just going to copy that chord progression and I'm going to go into cyber again and we're going to go into a pad here. I believe this I think frozen sounds good. Um, so we're just going to solo this out, copy the progression over control C control V and let's see how this sounds. Now let's go back to three and we're going to grab an EQ and just kind of make that sound a bit softer. Super simple way to do that is just grab this third preset right here and just kind of pull both these knobs in. And that's literally all we need. I think the last thing I'm gonna add just in case is a bass, just for like some maybe transitions and stuff like that. So we're gonna go back into Serum. That's perfect. So we're going to turn that bass off and we're going to start doing the drums now. So I already have an 808 that I like. It sounds like this. And then what I'm going to do is just probably start with a clap here. And then we're just going to click in the super basic clap pattern. It might add like another bounce a little bit later, but we're going to get a hi-hat going as well. 
Alright, so I like this bounce right here, and the last thing I think we got to do on this beat is go to the piano roll and type in a nice 808 pattern. Boom, there we go. And that's the whole beat right there. So now I'm going to arrange it, but I'm going to do that off camera just to save time. Because I mean, arrangement is boring. But after the arrangement, I'm going to pull up two things. And that's going to be my vocal mixing template, which is just a template for you to mix better in FL Studio. You don't need this to sound good, but you need this to just, it helps you like understand uh, how to mix in FL Studio better, if that makes sense. I have videos on it that I'll link down below if you want to understand that a little bit better. But the main thing that's going to make you sound good is the preset. And I'm just going to be using my Yeet preset in this video, just because I feel like my Yeet preset will fit Destroy's voice pretty well. All right, so I actually just added in another version of this lead, just so we could have like different variations of it come in and out during like hooks and verses. And it just sounds like this. <laughs> Okay, so like I said, this is the vocal mixing template that I pulled up. And like I said, it just makes you just makes it a lot easier for you to understand where to put all your stuff. Like if you want your hook here, it'll go there and it'll automatically route it to the hook. And like I said, this is called the default vocal mixing template volume two. I always have that link down like pretty much every video I do. But so first thing I'm going to do is just go to where we actually rendered this beat. And we're going to throw it in here and we're going to change the BPM to 159. And then if you render your beats as an MP3, you're always going to have this little silence in the beginning. So hit S on your keyboard, hold Alt, and just drag that out of there. And now your beat's going to be perfectly on time, how you actually should want it. And now here comes the cool thing about FL Studio 21 Beta. We actually have clip gain in here so we can turn this down. So I'm going to turn the beat down just like that. And it should be routed automatically to Mixer Track 20. And that is the whole point of the vocal mixing template because we put it in the beat section. And now it goes routed to Mixer Track number 20, which is our beat. And then I got the Yeet preset pulled up right here. So we're going to actually drag this into our hook. So we're going to bring the main vocal in. Oops, let's scoot this over so we could actually drag it in. And this is just my Yeet preset, which is my favorite preset by far. But we're going to bring that in and just set this to C minor. And we should be all set. So now I'm going to turn my clip gain down on my mic. All right, so now I'm just going to freestyle something and see if we can make a song that sounds like Destroy Lonely, specifically in his song, No Stylus. Let's go. Bitch, I wake up, no stylus. No fresh as fuck, I love this shit I'm feeling on my body. This shit not my dick, and I'm just rubbing on my body. Bitch, I woke up with no stylus. And I love the way she feeling on my body. Alright, yeah, like something like that. Let's try it. Bitch, I woke up with no stylus. And I love the way she feeling on my body. Fuck my fucking eyelids. Pop a burger to him, and I feel like I'm my body. And this don't make no sense the way I'm feeling, cause I'm wild. And before any of you guys ask, the one thing I'm doing with these automatic crossfades, that's the FL Studio beta that I'm talking about, as long as like the clip gain right here. So you can either get the beta, which you can download at the website, or you can just wait till it comes out. But it is a fantastic feature. So now what we're going to do is just duplicate this track over to um, just this one called the AdLibs right here. And we're going to call it AdLibs again. Um, and then I'm going to increase the Fruity Flangus right here to make it sound a bit more ad lib like and then I made an EQ like this just so it's kind of like an ad lib and then we're also going to turn it down another great thing about this mixing track is if you want to go to your ad lib track all you got to do is go to your ad libs right here set your input then you don't want to hear yourself on your main vocal so click this record button and now you're on the ad libs yeah yeah now you're on the ad libs yeah now you're on the ad libs bitch I woke up with no stylus and I love the way she feeling on my body from my fucking eyes Alright, back to the main vocal and see if we can do a little verse. And then that's pretty much it. How the fuck you know where I'm at? Post it on your snap. So figure out the fucking map. Bitch, this ain't no trap. I'm on my rap shit. Singing from the back. Yeah, you don't even have it. How the fuck you know where I'm at? Post it on your snap. Let's so figure out the fucking map. Snap, let's so fake, oh, I don't fucking match. Yeah, bitch, this ain't no trap. 
No. I'm on my ratchet. No. Singing from the back. Yeah. You don't even have it. Oh. Hey. Post it on your snap. That's so fake. Oh, I'll do fucking magic. Yeah. Bitches ain't no trap. I'm on my ratchet. Singing from the back. Yeah. You don't even have it. You don't even have it. You don't even have it. It's like every time I'm with her, I can't feel my face. I'm on these drugs. Got me thinking that I might run a race. But I ain't no take care. Okay, yeah. Alright, I think this is all I'm going to do for now because the recording is already at 51 minutes, but that is the end of the video. If you guys want any of the things I use in this video, it's all going to be linked down in the description below. Cyber, the Yeet preset, and my vocal mixing template are pretty much the three things that I use on like a daily basis, but that's what we use for this song specifically. And now I'm just going to play the entire song. And if you guys want me to finish this, leave a comment down below and let me know. But here's the song. Drugs got me thinking that